What's up guys? This is EB Macintosh Tips and this is part four of our ScreenFlow tutorial. If you guys missed part one, two, three, or five, you guys just click those annotations below and I'll shoot you right over to the video. I'm very excited about part four guys because this video is going to be on customizing your ScreenFlow project, making it look like no other. All right, We're going to be doing that by four ways. One, putting pictures inside of a text. Two, cropping a certain area of a video. Three, putting your icon as a watermark. And four, customizing a logo and putting it as your cursor. So as you move around the screen, your cursor follows wherever your pointer tool goes. Okay, we're going to start with that one, with the cursor. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the um, video properties, and I'm going to go to the screen recording properties and press add screen recording action. From here, I can go to my pointer and make it a circle, a square, or choose an image. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an image that I've made up right here. And of course, make sure that the background is blurred. And now you see that this logo here will pop up whenever it searches through the cursor. And of course, when I move it around, it follows me. Okay? So of course, you guys can make this um, bigger or smaller. And of course, lower the opacity or make it as as possible. All right? The second one we're going to do is adding picture inside of a text. This is very easy to do by adding your text tool. So you can go ahead and go to your text tool and press add text box. I'm going to call this grass because that's what the picture I have. All right. I'm going to blow this up for you guys so you can see. Perfect. Center that a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to go in here and instead of clicking a graduate, I'm going to click image. Find my image of the grass. And as you see, guys, if you lower the background, that just pops. So you guys see it's grass, and that just looks professional with that baseball background. All right, uh, which is all, which is found in the link description. I think it was interface look. Yeah, interface look. I got a lot of questions about background, so I'll just shoot that in there throughout the video. Okay, so let's add a, add a picture within text. Okay, the next thing we're gonna go over before we go over cropping a certain area of your video um, is going over how to add a watermark in your video, which makes this more look professional and also custom. Okay. As you see on my desktop, I've already made a, um, a Photoshop file, which the background is blurred out, and it just says MTZ for Macintosh Tips HD, because most of our videos are in HD. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over here to uh, our media option, and I'm going to add that media in. It's one of these. Here it is, called MTZ Watermark. Once that added, make sure it goes on the very top layer of your project and then drag it out throughout the whole project all the way to the end just like that now as you see here it's there I'm gonna blow that up just a tad bit and throw it in the corner and then from now I can go in and lower the opacity to make it a little blurred out or I can bring it all the way up I'm gonna lower that down just a little bit so it kind of fades not too distracting throughout the video so guys that looks very professional and very custom the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to crop a certain part of your video as you guys look in the bottom left, right above the timeline, you guys can see it says to resize the canvas area. All I'm going to do is click on that, and of course you have this nice little outline around your video clip, and you can put in dimensions here, snap the front window, or you can go in here and actually customize your fit. So I'm going to do about right there and bring it over. That looks about good. And as you see, it's snapping, so I'm going to turn that off, bring it up a little bit, and press apply. Now, throughout my whole video, it'll be on that one section. So say I have something private or personal that I want everybody seeing online on my desktop, I can just crop a certain area, just like that, guys. So it's very nice. Those are the four features to make your uh, screenful tutorial very personal and also uh, custom. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you close the annotations down below for um, the, the following uh, videos, one, two, three, and five. And of course, you guys follow us on Twitter and we have a new site now, it's Macintosh Tips blog for some behind the scenes footage. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, make sure you subscribe. We got some giveaways coming up. Catch you guys later. Peace.